fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Insider. I am Wangil Zalalem, bringing you the story. It's, uh, today's story is really hard. Um, a 12-year-old Ethiopian boy died in America. He's um, uh, Amer Ethiopian-American. And um, why he died is because he participated in a TikTok challenge, which challenges them to, challenges kids to choke themselves until they're unconscious. That's the whole challenge, that's it. This boy has been practicing that, the parents didn't know, but his twin brother knew that he, he didn't know that he's trying to participate in this challenge, but what he told him was, he kept asking him, how long can you hold your breath? I can hold my breath till one, one minute. And he was bragging about that to his brother, but his brother didn't even know, so he was found unconscious in, the bathroom his brother found him and he tried to help him the neighbors heard they took him to the hospital and um, he was announced brain dead and the parents was were hoping and they even opened a gofundme to help fund that um the hospital bills so that he stays there longer but the hospital and the doctors told them there's there's no point like that the, the boy is gone and the father said that he was on his knees begging them to please give him a chance and for his son to stay as long as he can on that life support uh, but they said like there's no point he's brain dead he's not coming back but anyways after a week of being in that hospital he's announced dead um the reason why i'm bringing this story to you is for those of you who are parents who have niece who have nephews who have cousins who have little brothers and sisters i just want you to pay attention to what the kids are doing these days this kind of crazy challenges are are a thing you know and to be cool kids will do anything and they don't have you know the mental cap ability to think it through to know the side effects the damage or the you know what might happen to them if 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 things don't go the right way so um this challenge i i can't even imagine i can't even believe that there's a challenge like this for kids and and kids try it not knowing that this will cost their life just because they want to show kids that they're doing this and to be part of the, that social clique and my thing is where's the responsibility when it comes to these applications like TikTok, instagram if these challenges are happening on your platforms why why aren't you involved more why don't you know that this is going on because i'm sure it passes through a robot a bot that senses things like we say we can curse on youtube and we get demonetized so there is a system there to vet through that why can't you do that on TikTok? why if you can if you can um you know remove someone for the simplest things or demonetize them or fact check them for talking about you know the c virus why can't you do this for the kids that are being involved and doing these challenges that are life threatening and they might lose their lives as this kid like he just lost his life at 12 years of age he had a lot to look forward to he had a life to live uh, and he's a kid you see like we need to have things in place for kids we need to protect kids adults you know what they're adults you know they can make their decision but these kids they're not deciding based on the pros and cons they're just deciding just to fit in they're just doing things because they see it on the app if the app did a good job in censoring these things this kid will be alive because he won't see the challenge for him to be part of it and to participate and kill himself unknowingly you know he didn't do it on purpose and that makes makes it even worse because he doesn't know what he's he didn't know what he was doing what he's putting him his body through and he was brain dead right there and then trying to choke himself with um i believe they said with um shoelace that was the challenge this is really sad so parents and everybody caregivers and guardians please uh keep that in mind and be vigilant to what your kids do on social media and make sure you protect them the best way you can anyways guys do let us know down below what your thoughts are about this challenge and have you heard of it before um i am wangil zalal i'm bringing you the story i will see you on the next one bye